Hello. I think I've mentioned it before that I attend a monthly colouring group at our local library and it's a really great way to socialise. I've made quite a few friends and we just sit around colouring and having a good chat. Well, the library recently asked us if we would like to put up a display for Christmas of some of our colourings. And of course, we decided to go for a Christmas theme. One of the ladies posted up some free colouring picture pages. At least I presume they're free. <laughs> And I picked a couple of them. I went for these two because they're just so adorable. But I printed these out just on plain paper and I was thinking this is going to take me a very long time to colour using coloured pencils. And because I'm on a fairly rigorous schedule for making YouTube videos, it's not leaving me a lot of time to do these. So rather than using the slow medium of coloured pencils, I thought I'd go for something a little faster. I transferred these images onto some nice watercolour paper and I decided to use my Sennelier watercolours. I've got two boxes of them. This is the full set of tube paints that they have. I've got all of my cooler colours on this side and all of my warm ones over here. If ever there is a tin released that holds 100 half pans, I'm totally getting it and putting all of these together in one big set. But for now I have the two tins. So I painted the pictures a while ago because the display is already up, but I did record them so you can see how I painted them. It was really fun and I think they turned out really vibrant and beautiful. So I'll get into the painting and then I'll show you the display at the end of this video. Let's get into it. Here are the drawings which I traced out onto nice cotton watercolour paper. I'm not sure exactly who drew the bird. If I can find who it is, I will write their name in the description below. And I'll also reference the artist for this particular picture. It's such a cute one. So let's get painting. And first up we have the bird. So I'm not doing anything particularly fancy with the watercolours. I'm just kind of colouring the picture but just using paint instead of pencils or pens. I decided I wanted this bird to be mostly teal colours, so I've got a couple of the different aquas, a deeper thalo turquoise here and a brighter cobalt teal or something like that. And I'm painting it on fairly thickly, adding layers as I go while the paint is still wet just to get that depth of shadow. Working pretty quickly so that the colours stay nice and wet and they will blend beautifully together. And to get a seamless blend like this, I really recommend using 100% cotton paper. Cellulose paper just doesn't work in the same way. The paint tends to lift more easily on cellulose paper and also it tends to dry a lot more patchily or if you add to water it will turn into cauliflowers, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But I really wanted a nice seamless blend and so cotton is definitely the way to go for that. Once you've started using cotton paper, it's really hard to go back to cellulose. So I've stuck mostly with basic bright colours, Christmassy ones as well. And for the hat, I was using only one red, which I was painting on thickly and then blending out with water to get lighter areas. That's a great way to get a change in value between light and dark. You could do this with wet on wet technique, so painting the water on first and then letting the watercolour paint disperse naturally, but I usually prefer to have a little more control, especially for something a bit more detailed like this, and so I tend to paint wet on dry, applying the paint to dry paper and then using water to paint it out. If you're starting out with watercolour, this is actually a much easier technique and one that I tend to use more often than not. As you can see, I got some blue on the background. I think I dropped my paintbrush or something. <laughs> That's so annoying. I fixed it up later by adding liberal amounts of gold over the top of that. <laughs> that particular Indian Threen blue is very staining. But I enjoyed painting this. It was really relaxing. I'm not doing anything too complicated, but I do like how it turned out. And the gold that I add to the end of it is a gold gouache by Art Spectrum, which is an Australian company. I will list all of my supplies down below and provide links where I can. That gold gouache doesn't seem to be super easy to get, but I know a few places, at least in Australia, that have it. I think all up this painting took me maybe one or two hours, I can't remember exactly. Probably closer to two hours because I do like to take my time. It's sped up here by a considerable amount so it looks like it takes no time at all. But I can assure you I did spend probably at least half a day doing both of these paintings, if not longer. But if I had to do these in coloured pencils it would take twice as long for sure.
I think this turned out so cute and the gold hides all of my mistakes. So onto the Christmas tree with Kitty. I loved this picture, I definitely had to paint this one. Although once again I am going in with fairly basic colours, pretty much a single green, I think it was Sennelier green, adding on thick layers of paint and then diluting it out with water just to get a dark to light effect. One could of course use multiple colours of green or maybe some yellows in there as well, but I just like to keep it simple sometimes. And it is more of a cartoonish style to fit in with the picture itself because I mean it's not exactly super realistic, but that's fine. I knew this was going up on a display so I wanted to choose bright bold colours that are eye catching to the viewer. I often use that Sennelier green, I think it's actually a thalo green, possibly yellow shade, and it's just a really pretty colour. It's so bright and happy. I could have gone with more of a pine tree green, but yeah, that's too boring. <laughs> and then I pretty much did the same technique for the rest of the picture, going mostly for solid bright colours here, so I thought the matte would be pretty in blue, and then I ended up painting the cat with a lovely soft grey colour. And to tie the two pictures together, I used the gold gouache to paint in the Merry Christmas, the stars and a few other shiny details. And I really love how this one turned out. So if you like to colour in but find that pencils are too time consuming or they make your hand ache because they also make my hand ache if I use them too often, I recommend tracing pictures that you like onto watercolour paper and then painting them. It's so much fun. And you can use any watercolour paints you want. I went for the Sennelier's because they're some of my favourites and I hadn't used them for a while so it was high time to bring them out again. Plus they're incredibly bright and there is a huge range of colours in my collection so I just love using them. You can use any kind of watercolour paper too, I guess. I just prefer to go for the cotton but I mean it's a little more expensive. It is worth it though. As for brushes, any brushes will do. I tend to use round ones because they're easier to get into the details. I was switching between two Kalinsky sable brushes that I have that are both excellent. One is by Isabe and the other is a Raphael. I really love both brushes, especially that Raphael one. It's one of my absolute favourites and I use it a lot. The Kalinsky sable brushes hold so much water and paint. They're just really excellent to paint with. But synthetic brushes are fine too, just whatever you have. The whole point is to have a good time and not to worry too much about the supplies. As long as you're having fun, that is the most important thing. I really love this picture, it's so happy. So here we are at Ferntree Gully Library and this is where we have our colouring session every month. They do all sorts of community stuff here and on the windows inside is where our display is. So if you happen to be in the area come down and check it out. Here are all the pictures with my bird in the right hand corner and I also did the angel in the top left which has disappeared off screen and there's my Christmas kitty in the corner of the second display. I also did the mistletoe on the red oval, the Christmas sleigh with the dark blue border at the top, and the title which I did last minute as we were putting the display together. And here's a closer view of my birdie with all of that gold gouache hiding that blue stain that was on the paper. And up to the other one, I mounted the paintings onto some black cardboard just to give them a bit of a border and make them look a bit more interesting. I think the whole display looks amazing, everyone did some incredible colouring pictures. Thanks everyone for letting me film your pictures and also to the library for allowing me to film. And thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm getting into the Christmas spirit. I just thought it would be really fun to share this. I'm not the only one who's obsessed with colouring in, that's for sure. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos. I will see you all again really soon in my next one. Have a great day out there. Swatch you later. Bye!